Welcome to Anonymod, the ultimate destination for ethical hackers and cybersecurity enthusiasts. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Today, we're tackling an intriguing topic, how to hack an admin panel of a website, strictly for educational purposes. Let's get our hands dirty and explore the fascinating world of admin panel hacking. All right, folks, first things first, we need to find ourselves an admin panel. Many websites use predictable URLs for their admin areas like slash admin, slash admin, slash login, or slash administrator. You can try typing these URLs directly into your browser and you might just get lucky. But let's be real, in the real world, we need something a bit more automated. That's where our trusty tools come in. We've got some fantastic open source tools like Admin Finder and Durbuster. These tools automate the process of scanning a website for hidden directories, including those juicy admin panels. Remember, the goal here is not to cause any harm. We're ethical hackers, just poking around to see what's out there. Fire up your favorite directory scanner and let it loose on your target website, with permission of course. The real fun begins when we start looking for vulnerabilities. Those chinks in the armor that we can exploit. Okay, so you found the admin panel. Congrats, this is a significant step, but it's just the beginning of your journey. The admin panel is the heart of any web application and securing it is crucial. Now the real detective work begins. You need to scrutinize every aspect of this panel to ensure it's not a weak link in your security chain. We need to find out if this panel is Fort Knox or a flimsy garden gate. The difference can mean the safety of your data or a potential breach. Let's start with the classic weak passwords. It's astonishing how many admin panels still use passwords like admin or 123456. Many websites still rely on default passwords or easily guessable combinations. This is a glaring vulnerability that can be easily exploited. Then there's the lack of brute force protection. Without proper measures, attackers can try thousands of password combinations until they get in. A good admin panel will have measures in place to limit login attempts and lock out suspicious users. This is essential to prevent unauthorized access. And let's not forget about SQL injection. This is a common attack where malicious SQL code is inserted into input fields to manipulate the database. Proper input sanitization is crucial to prevent this kind of attack. Always validate and sanitize user inputs to ensure they don't contain harmful code. There are tools for testing these vulnerabilities responsibly and ethically. These tools can help you identify and fix security issues before they are exploited. One of my favorites is Hydra, perfect for testing brute force protection. It can simulate multiple login attempts to see if your system can withstand an attack. Then there's Burp Suite, a powerful web vulnerability scanner that can help you find and exploit weaknesses in web applications. It's an essential tool for any security profession. It's like having an X-ray vision for websites, allowing you to see the underlying code and identify potential security flaws. This insight is invaluable for securing your applications. These tools are not toys. Use them ethically and responsibly. Misuse can lead to legal consequences and damage to your reputation. Always get written permission before testing any live websites. This ensures that you are legally protected and that the website owner is aware of the testing. Chapter 3. Gearing up essential tools for testing admin panel security. In this chapter, we will delve into the essential tools that every cybersecurity professional should have in their arsenal when testing the security of admin panels. These tools are the backbone of any thorough security assessment and will help you uncover vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious actors. Just like a plumber needs his wrenches and a carpenter needs his saw, we cybersecurity enthusiasts need our trusty tools to get the job done. These tools are not just software, they are extensions of our skills and knowledge enabling us to perform complex tasks with precision and efficiency. First up, let's talk about SQL Map. This tool is a game changer when it comes to identifying and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. SQL Map automates the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws, making it an indispensable tool for any penetration tester. This open source penetration testing tool is a must have for anyone serious about finding and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. It can automate a wide range of tasks, from database fingerprinting to data extraction, and even allows for remote code execution in some cases. Think of SQL Map as a sophisticated lockpick, carefully probing the database for weaknesses. It's like having a master key that can unlock the secrets hidden within a database, revealing vulnerabilities that could be exploited if left unaddressed. Next on our list is Hydra, our trusty brute force companion. 
Hydra is a powerful tool for cracking passwords and gaining unauthorized access to systems. It supports numerous protocols and can perform rapid dictionary attacks to find valid login credentials. This tool is like a tireless robot, methodically trying different username and password combinations until it integrity in the cybersecurity community. Chapter 4. Building Fort Knox, How to Secure Admin Panels Like a Pro. In this chapter, we will dive deep into the essential strategies and best practices to ensure your admin panels are as secure as possible. All right, folks, we've spent the last few chapters learning how to find and exploit vulnerabilities in admin panels. Now, it's time to flip the script and focus on how to protect these critical access points from malicious attacks. Now it's time to switch gears and talk about defense. First and foremost, passwords. They are the gatekeepers to your admin panel, and having a weak password is like leaving the front door wide open. Strong, unique passwords are your first line of defense. Make sure each password is complex, combining letters, numbers, and special characters to make it harder for attackers to guess. Use a password manager if you have to, just make sure those passwords are Fort Knox worthy. Password managers can generate and store complex passwords making it easier for you to manage them securely. Next up, multi-factor authentication. This is like adding a deadbolt to your front door. Multi-factor authentication requires not just a password, but also another form of verification such as a fingerprint or a code sent to your phone. Even if someone gets their hands on your password, they still need another factor to get in. This additional layer of security can significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access. Think of multi-factor authentication as an extra layer of security. It's like having multiple locks on your door, each requiring a different key. Now let's talk about obscurity. Sometimes the best way to protect something is to hide it. Hiding your admin panel is like installing a hidden door in your house. By using an uncommon URL or hiding the login page, you make it harder for attackers to find it in the first place. You can do this by using an uncommon URL for your admin panel, or by restricting access to specific IP addresses. This way, only authorized users can even attempt to log in. And finally, let's not forget about the importance of keeping your website software up to date. Regular updates are crucial for maintaining security. Updates often include security patches that fix known vulnerabilities. By keeping your software current, you close the door on potential exploits and keep your admin panel secure. And that's it. You now understand how admin panels can be tested for vulnerabilities and secured against attacks. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the world of cybersecurity, that power comes with great responsibility. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more ethical hacking tutorials. Got a topic you'd like us to cover? Drop it in the comments below. Until next time, stay ethical and stay secure.